It's not been your normal morning across Russia, that is for sure. Have a look at this. <coughs> And people in the Urals region are having basically seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded above the earth, causing a meteor shower. Let's, uh, let's join RT's Arena Galushko now to talk more about this, because ultimately, I had a pretty terrifying morning, and I'm not even in that part of Russia, the biggest country in the world, and yet we have what is essentially a startling display in the morning skies. Absolutely. Well, that's the map behind me. Uh, basically, what happened is there was a, an asteroid which entered the atmosphere and then broke into several pieces, thereby turning into a meteorite. Happened around 9 o'clock in the morning, so all these people that are, were driving, yeah, you can see it right behind me, imagine me driving driving to work, and, the, and then all of a sudden you see this this absolutely tremendous It's war flash. of the world, so we're under attack. Absolutely, and actually that's what a lot of people thought. We're not under attack. It looked like it though, didn't it? It, it did. I'll get to that in a second, but uh, <laughs> let's get just down to some figures at this point. We know that the, the blast, the explosion, because obviously when it enters the atmosphere, it breaks apart. There's an explosion, yeah. yes. Uh, apparently, the windows have been shattered and, and, and doors were flying out. And all in all, 300 buildings have sustained some sort of damage. 300, 300 buildings. 300 buildings, yes. 514 people have said that they need medical assistance. Uh, among them, 84, yes, 84 of them kids, and at least nine are in critical condition. Well, how, how, how are so many people being injured? Because it, was it the meteorite that injured them? No, no, not always, no, no. It was mostly, imagine, first of all, the impact was such, you've heard the, you've heard the, the, the noise. The impact was such that, like I said, the windows were flying out and, and the glass was shattering. Shattered so a glass. lot of people who were cut by the, sh by the shards of the glass. But yeah. we also know one woman, a postal worker, who actually, uh, uh, had to be hospitalized because she had a heart attack. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's pretty bad. Now, what about, I mean, how did we get this startling footage? Because basically, when I was coming into work, mm -hmm. I was getting a call from the newsroom saying we've got loads and loads of footage coming in, but how did we get it? Well, this is the 21st century. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks, and, Irina. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of people actually have this, uh, they have like video registrators, or whatever you call them, video uh, capture things that they put in their cars, just yeah. in case something happens. But I think most of the time, that, that is just my, that's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I think they put them there just in case something unique like this happens. Happens. Hence all this stunning footage. Absolutely. Well, this is I think this is a security camera from an office. And again, I'm Ooh, standing in that. the midst oh. of it. <laughs> that girl hit the deck. Yeah, it actually does look like an explosion. That's what happens. And that's how people actually got injured. That's that's where so it's, no, it's no surprise. And we're in the Absolutely. early hours in the morning that people think you're under attack when you see the streaks across the sky and you hear these sonic booms or the fracturing of, of this of absolutely. this uh, heavenly body. I mean, it's absolutely incredible, really. Well, not, not, not really a lot of things are heavenly about it, except for maybe the appearance. Uh, we do know that schools and kindergarten are, are staying closed for today. In fact, the Minister of Emergencies uh, not only put to 20 20,000 of their personnel on, on high alert, alert, but yeah. they also have advised people to stay inside, not go anywhere. And but uh, Irina, the thing is, though, it's not over yet, because in a few hours the. That whatever's behind this asteroid is coming next. Am I right? Well, there has been there has been speculation. This is sort of a teaser, sort of a harbinger of the larger asteroid. Oh, that's the, nice. The, uh, the, an yeah. early harbinger of doom sent ahead. I mean, so the Pretty baby much. the baby meteorites are sent ahead. The parents are coming next. I mean, do we know anything about the size or the timing of what's to come next? Because it's happening today. Did we know anything about this one? No. This yeah. is kind of a little surprise. Uh, well, I mean, if in all seriousness, however, the scientists did say that we're expecting a rather large meteor asteroid. 2012 DA14, yes, a great name, uh, which is supposed to be a record, which is supposed to be uh, passing next to Earth at a record-breaking uh, distance. So it's actually close, but a lot of people mm. are actually saying that this, what we saw this morning in Chelyabinsk, yeah. is actually a part of it. That's just you know one of the one of the asteroids or little meteors that are following in it. And we shouldn't we shouldn't really be bracing ourselves for an impact and call us well, calling, I mean, Bruce we, 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 well, calling Bruce Willis. I'm sure his phone's been going off the hook for quite some time now. He's changed his um, number. But we, you know, we have plenty of asteroid and comet stories uh, throughout 2013. We've got uh, one comet, Ison, that is coming in a few months. It'll be visible from the days of summer all the way to the days of winter. Mm -hmm. It'll be the brightest thing in the night sky apart from the moon. So mid-2013 mid, mid, uh, mid to the end of 2013, you can see it with your naked eye. It's going to be soaring across the sky for a few months. That's going to be incredible. And then in 2029, we've got Apophis. Now, this thing is big. And How this big? thing, How big are we talking? It, you know, it's big enough to cause major damage if it were to impact. Now, what they're saying about Apophis yeah. is that it's going to pass so close to Earth 
that it's going to skim across the atmosphere, mm -hmm. knock out a bunch of satellites like a bowling ball. So basically, basically, this is something that happened in 1908. Remember the Tunguska, the Tunguska that event? That was the big one. Was it? That was, that was the Siberia. Big one. That, was Siberia. That, that was Siberia. That was Siberia. That was a little bit uh, in, a, in a different direction from where this happened. It was a lot mm -hmm. further. Uh, but uh, speaking of Chelyabinsk region, yeah. I, I think it's important to mention that this was actually a hub for nuclear research, and uh, one of the ma the biggest uh, nuclear storage facilities in the country called Mayak is actually in the vicinity of Chelyabinsk. And the first thing that a lot of people, I think, uh, were, went looking for is whether or not that was damaged. And lucky for us, it wasn't, because otherwise... But, yeah, but the thing is, though, people, then you, have, you also have your conspiracy theories. That you when you have do. nuclear facilities, then you always see, like, you see UFOs or floating orbs or little green men, for goodness sake. Um, but going back to what you were saying about the Tunguska event, mm -hmm. 1908 in Siberia, mm -hmm. it wiped out 2,000 square miles of forest. And there are many, many documentaries about it all over YouTube and on RT as well, where... A Apparently, according to investigators, the meteorite, if indeed it was a meteorite, at mm -hmm. Tunguska, as it came towards the ground, it actually exploded before touching the ground. It was an yes. aerial explosion. And that is why they could not, never find the crater or the exactly. actual remnants. Exactly. Speaking of remnants, they do say that they have found three fragments of this particular uh, asteroid, or I'm sorry, meteorite. Uh, and they also, but this is an unconfirmed report, they say that they have found one crater at least six meters in diameter. So that's Ooh. pretty big. Yeah. But again, the impact, you have to understand that that's where it's coming from. But again, the, the, the report about the crater is unconfirmed, but they have found three fragments. Mm. So it would be interesting to see, mm. to analyze it and see what exactly those things are made out of. Yeah, absolutely so that right. Kind of, that would be, that was, that's one thing that we should be, uh, I guess, looking out for. Well, this, this, I was just going to say, this, uh, this uh, comet that's coming up mid to late 2013 that we're all going to be able to watch for months in the sky, this uh, comet Ison, um, apparently it's coming from the Ison Nebula, which basically spits out an interstellar highway of debris that we is now going to be spilling. Into, uh, we do need a map. <laughs> we need a map of the sky. And we whatever. need more time to talk about this, I think, as well. <laughs> Absolutely. But whatever the case, we're still, we're still taking in footage here at RT. So if, if, if indeed you have any footage you can share with us, you can just get in contact with us at RT.com.